Hey guys, this is JJGGG doing a review today on the new ATTE. Um, now, sorry I didn't get this review up during the summer. I didn't have the set until now. I just got it a couple days ago. And yeah, ATT has been a set that I've always wanted ever since it came out in 2008. And I finally have it, so let's get on to the review. Now, usually I do the box first, but I'm going to leave the box until the end. And so yeah, the instruction manuals, for there's two of them. Since there is 794 pieces, and by the way, this set is priced at 90 US dollars. So the first instruction manual is 61 pages, and the second one is 48. Not too tricky, not too bad of a build. Decent build, um, fun to build too. So just start off with the, oh yeah, before that, for the minifigures. You also get a brick separator with this set, so that's really cool to get one of those. Alright, so first of the minifigures is a battle droid commander. Now this isn't like your normal battle droid, this is a, like a darker tan. Let's see if I have a battle droid lying around here. There we go. Okay. There's a regular battle droid compared to this battle droid. Um, this one um, has a yellow on the top since the battle droid commander and a dot right here. These are the Genoshian battle droids. Um, that's what I like to call them because they got like dirt type color, sand type color to them. And then here's uh, another one. This one is the same one you get in the Corporate Alliance tank droid, just a plain droid, um, battle droid. Um, so yeah, the next is Mace Windu. I finally have a Mace Windu minifigure. I never had one before, and um, sorry you can't see the face. This camera's not the best for focusing. Um, so there's the torso design and the legs. Very good design, but nothing on the back, no printing. Kind of sad, purple lightsaber. It's cool. So yeah, Mace Windu is an awesome Jedi. So I'm glad to finally have him. And let's see if you can try to see the face. Uh, camera's not focusing. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, Mace Windu, really cool mini figure. Um, so next, moving on to the next one is Coleman Trey Bar. I think I, if I pronounced that right. Um, he is in, in Episode Two. Oh yeah. By the way, the set's based off Episode Two. If you guys didn't know that. So this isn't based off the Clone Wars ATTE. This is based off the um, Episode 2 Biogenosis A-T-T-E. 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 Okay. So, Coleman Trebar is actually... He um, he went up to try to kill Jango Fett. And he... I think he's... I think this is him. Yeah, he went up to kill Jango Fett and he got shot and fell off the balcony. Or, he went to kill uh, Count Dooku and then got shot by Jango Fett. Or something like that. His um, head is kind of like... Kind of like Yoda's rubber, but not as flexible. Great torso design, so if you wanted to take um, his head off and make another Jedi with it, uh, or custom Jedi, great torso. Pretty cool back printing, and then a green lightsaber. So next is probably my favorite minifigure out of the group, is this clone commander. Now we've been getting these new Phase 1 clone troopers. Um, like the sergeant, here's what they look like compared to each other. Um... So yeah, this one is the commander. You will see him on the Battle of Genosis. I believe they show a scene with him in there. Um, so yeah, he's got yellow arms. Oh, I'm dropping. Okay, he's got yellow arms and um, this gun. I don't really like it very much. I just keep it like that or without this thing on it. And I dropped the helmet. All right, there we go. Um, here's what the helmet looks like. Kind of like the metallic silver right there, and then yellow markings on the helmet and then just a same face you get with all the other clone troopers so yeah he's probably my favorite minifigure out of the set but definitely um, if you want to get a set for minifigures I'll, actually, I'll just talk about this later at the end but great minifigures to go along with this set so um, we'll just start talking about the set now um, now the set itself I don't have the 2008 one or 2002 so I can't compare the two but this one I've seen the uh, 2008 one this one is actually shorter than it, like shorter, but it's actually wider, like, like, I'll show it. it's like wide, it's wider, um, shorter than 2008, but wider than 2008, so, um, yeah, I'll just start from front to back here, um, move it to the front here, okay, sometimes it's a pain to get set up right, okay, um, so there's what the cockpit looks like, a little, um, fence thing right here. You can actually just slide it out just like that. Um, kind of different than the last one. 
Again, I don't, I'm not going to compare it too much to the last one, sorry. Okay, um, so glass on the front here, red designs in a chair to fit your clone commander in if you want to put them in there. Just put them in here. There you go, and, jeez, I keep dropping this helmet, sorry guys. Um, if you can tell, it's these little slider things, these, this thing actually slides into there, so, um, the little slide thing, side things can slide into there. Pretty cool design, I like it. Very cool. And then you get the ball turrets, and you get four of them, and they can lift up, or no, they can't lift up, my bad. Um, pretty flexible, spinning around like that. Um. So yeah, and then moving on to the side, these flaps can open like this, and um, here's the turret, or here's what the front legs look like, I'll show you those. Um, so there's six legs again on the ATTE, as you'll see throughout the review, and they there's no rubber bands like the last one, so they move pretty good, um, and then the turret right here, actually it doesn't move... Um, up completely it only moves 360 degrees like this but then this thing moves up and down all the way up there and all the way down there and there's also flick fire missiles right here um, again uh, flick fire missiles are not my favorite and um, it actually looks really good like honestly without a minifigure in it it's fine like you don't actually need well you do need one um, for the never mind <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about here it looks fine without a minifigure in it but um, again, it does look cool with the minifigure in it, so we're going to put Coleman Trebar in there, just like that. So, yeah. Next, there is a handle right here, and I don't think it works with the dropship. I'm not sure because I don't have the dropship, but um, I'm just going to give you a little view of the side here. There's what the legs look like. Um, so, it's, it's identical on the other side, so this thing's on the other side, that thing's on the other side, um, and this flap can open as well. Just like the last one. This one opens. And then sticker right here. Sticker right here. And um, so yeah. I'm going to raise this up. So you can get an overview of the ATTE. So we can show the back. Now the back is pretty cool here. Um, this one, this thing, this whole back part lifts up like this. And then you can open these fat labs or... and then inside there's actually room to sit some people in the back here so you can just put Mace Windu and put his lightsaber right here. oh no you can't never mind I guess you could I thought you could um maybe you can anyway you can put Mace Windu just sit him in here and as I say that the ball turret breaks off of course So, you know, and put Mace Windu in there, and then back there is a little box, and um, there's thermal detonators in there that actually came with the set, so that's really cool. And there is a ladder down here, so that's pretty cool. Um, clones can get out. Again, not much, or uh, I haven't said that yet. Um, there's not much seating in here, um, so this is pretty much the only area. This is the only area you can sit people in, but you probably could make mods and stuff to... Um, so you can make more people sit, and then you can just slide this down like so, and you got two ball turrets on the back as well. So, pretty cool, and there actually is flick fire missiles right over here. If you lift the top part of the turret up, there's just these four flick fire missiles. And again, I'll try to show this here. There is not very much room, actually... There's a little pad back there, but that is pretty much it for a room, so not really anywhere to store your troops except for the back there, and that's pretty much where you can store them, and the turret broke. Try to put this back on. There we go, okay. So, yeah, not very much room. Okay, so I think that is pretty much all the features here. Um, yeah, it is. So, um, zoom back out here, give you an overview of the ATTE. Very cool set. It'll be a great set to feature in all of your mocks. Um, an iconic tank for the Clone Wars. You see it a lot during the Clone Wars episodes. 
and um, shooting droids and stuff. Great tank. Um, uh, set the droids back up here. Um, I think the minifigures go along great with this set. I wouldn't say get this set just for the minifigures. Get it for more the set to actually have the set. Um, and again, ninety dollars is actually pretty good. It's kind of around. I think it's around that ten cents per piece. So that's pretty good there. Um, yeah. So my, or I'll show you the box and then I'll tell you how much stars I think that it should get. So um, here's the battle scene as usual, ages nine through fourteen. Kit seven five zero nineteen. 794 pieces, and there's the minifigures, all of which are new. That's pretty cool. And then the life to scale, or scale, the real scale minifigure, and the features which I showed you guys. So, yeah. So, again, um, great set. I've probably said that a couple times. Um, I give it an 8 out of 10, um, possibly an 8.5 out of 10. Love this set. If you have the money, I definitely recommend you to get it. So yeah, I think I've covered pretty much everything. Um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what videos you guys want to see. I'm currently working on a mock right now, and I pretty I think I'm going to feature this in the mock. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I really said that. Sorry. Um, thanks for watching my videos. I love it when you guys watch them. Um, comment them. I'd love to hear you guys what you guys think about my reviews and how I can improve, if you guys can tell me how to improve, I love that too. So, um, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, this is JJGGG saying, see ya.